Hey guys, welcome to episode 5 of my Nimrod Nuzlocke Randomizer. I said that in the wrong order, but I don't care. I'm Frannik, and welcome to my 5th episode, like I said. Uh, we have defeated Roxanne, we have defeated our a rival, and we are going to be heading to the wonderful sound of Duford here soon. Uh, to give you an update on my team, I haven't changed him at all if you've been watching, but if you haven't, I have Baltoy, who I forgot to nickname. Once I find the name writer, I will nickname I have Susan, my Dratini, who just got to 15 and learned Twister. Before that, it knew nothing. It is also my starter. Chopsticks, Kabuto. He will be hopefully getting better by the time he hits level 30. Uh, Elikid, Zamboni is his nickname. Hopefully I can... I think he is a friendship evolution. I really do. Either that or he has to get like level 20-something or level 30 to level up. Either way, I'm going to give him the Soothe Bell when I get it. Uh, Clefairy, level 15. Her name is Matilda. Uh, she is a freaking tank. And then we have Mulan, the Rapidash I just caught. It was also a guy, and I named it Mulan. I don't actually care. But uh, having a fire type is going to be nice. Uh, anyways, we are going to make our way down to Mr. Briny and head off to Duford. Luckily, I don't have to fight anything on the way. I probably could uh, train up my Rapidash, but we're not going to bother. All right. All right, Mr. Briny, let's go. So about halfway through this, I'm going to get a phone call from my dad, and here it comes, right about now. There it is, yep, okay, hey, oh, uh, yeah, blah, 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 I don't care, go away. Cool. So what's really annoying about this stupid poking app is people are going to start calling me about some random crap all the time, like, oh, I lost, a, I almost had a wild wing goal or some crap, and I'm literally not going to care, and you will hear my disdain for the fact that they're telling me this. Okay, so what's really cool is I'm about to get an old rod, as you could literally just see. And that means I have three attempts at finding Pokemon. Uh, one for the town, run up here, one for the route, and then uh, there's a cave over to the left where I can find stuff in the cave. I can't fish in the cave, obviously, but... So, I really want to know where the name raider is at. Who are you? Eh, I don't care. Oh, Silk Scarf, sweet. Silk Scarf's are really cool. So, by the way, I want to point out that the gym leader is Brawly. He is a fighting-type gym leader. He uses... Um, a Machop, a Metadite, and a Metacham. And in my other playthrough, I had a Grumpig, and I totally wrecked that Grumpig with Psybeam, or totally wrecked that boss with Psybeam with a level 17 Grumpig. So I'm pretty sure Baltoy is going to do some damage, although I'm very scared to allow him to be hit by any sort of fighting move. Just throwing it out there. Anyways, uh, this is the Duford Hall. The Name Raider is not in there. We're going to go ahead and see what I can catch uh, fucking fishing. And here's the really funny part, is I'm going to have to time this really quickly because of how fast my game's going. Okay. Not even a nibble, that doesn't matter. Alright, what are we going to get? There's no Pokemart, or a Pokemart here, so I can't actually buy any Pokeballs, so I'm kind of stuck with what I got. I should have packed up. But here we go, what do we got? A oh Jesus, a Blissey! A goddamn Blissey! Oh my god! I really want that! I really want that! Oh my... Okay, I'm gonna with. Oh my god, I. Jesus. I gotta be sure I don't kill it. Okay. I don't think I can catch this. I really don't. The catch rate on this thing is gonna be way too high. Yeah. Ugh. I still got two more Pokemon to find. I just really want this thing. Oh, this is. This is not looking good. I'm only gonna try a couple more times. As much as I want this thing. Oh, that looked promising. Now I say that, I really want to get it. As bad as I want this thing, I do not want to waste all my Pokeballs. Alright, here's what I'll do. I'll use the Great Ball, and if it doesn't work, it doesn't work, okay? Okay, that's just some BS right there. We're going to go down to five Pokeballs. I lied. I really want this. You don't understand. Oh, you got to be kidding me! No! <sighs> Last try. Yep, okay, I'm gonna kill it. I hate to kill this thing. I really want this thing. It is a goddamn tank. 218 experience. Well, it look, looks like I know what I'm gonna be training against. Alright. Only down to five Pokeballs, and I still got a whole other place to go to. Uh. Oh, accidentally hit A. I'm stupid. Alright, what do we get for Route 106? Oh! What the? Oh! Wow. Just wow. I can't even explain what... Wow. 
Uh oh. Uh oh. It is it is confused. Uh oh, that is not good. Uh, I just gotta go for this. I just gotta go for it. <laughs> I'm not gonna catch it. I'm gonna go for it though. I'm gonna use all my stuff trying to catch it. Don't kill yourself. Oh thank God. Please be unconfused. All right. Well. Oh. <laughs> No. Oh, I've lost four Pokemon now. Three of them are pretty freaking sweet, and one of them was just useless. So far, if anyone's keeping tally, I have lost Swampert, Cascoon, Blissey, and Zapdos in that order. Okay. Uh, I'm going to fast forward this bit. I'm going to run back and get me a bunch of Pokeballs and Great Balls, so I will fast forward. Hey, Kadabra. Uh, I was running through Petalburg Woods and we hadn't seen it yet, but there's a Kadabra in Petalburg Woods. Fun fact. Hey, we are still in Petalburg Woods. I clearly did not explore enough because now there is an Illumice. Interesting. We are literally still in Petalburg Woods. I've run into three Pokemon. All of them have been different than I've seen before. We have now encountered a Gardevoir. A male Gardevoir, which is actually not, not possible in later generations. Fun fact. Alright, guys, uh... I know I am not in Dewford yet, but because I have an old rod now, I'm going to actually use my wild Pokemon finding, uh, my first encounter, I don't know what I'm actually saying, my first encounter in Petalburg on an old rod, see if I can get something level 5 and useful. So here goes nothing, let's see what we can find. Ah, man, I gotta be faster than that. Why did you pull it up after four little dots? Come on, what are you doing? Alright, what did I get? What did I get? A Mantine. Ooh. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna try and catch him. Oh man, oh man, he is almost dead. Okay. So, here we go. Oh yeah, by the way, I bought a bunch of Pokeballs. I bought a bunch. So anyways, let's give it a try. Oh, he did not like that. Did not like that at all. Give it another try here. He is not wanting to even stay close to inside that Pokeball. Alright, let's try a Premier Ball. Well, that's more than they've done in the past for me. They've caught me one Pokemon so far, and three of them have gone to waste completely. Come on. Alright, I gotta save some of these if I'm gonna use them at, uh, in Duford's, uh, in Duford's cave. Uh, I think I stop once I get to 10 of them and just kill this thing. I hate having to waste these things like this, but I really just can't afford to keep going like this. It is really sucking in terms of trying to catch this crap. Man, you gotta be kidding me. Last try. Alright. He did not even want to stay close to inside one of those, so unfortunately... We have to call it quits, Mr. Mantine. That is the fifth Pokemon I have unfortunately had to tragically end its life. So I'm going to heal up and fast forward to Duford. Alright guys, welcome back to Duford. We're going to go up here and fight some trainers and train our guys a little more than they already are. Uh, I'm going to start training... Let's see, Ball Toy is going to be how I'm going to really fight this gym leader, but at the same time it couldn't hurt to have backup plans. Chopsticks and Matilda are of no use to me. Susan and Zamboni should be able to do some stuff, so I'll put them first and get some kills here. This guy's going to have a tentacle and a magic carb, if I'm not mistaken. No, uh, just a tentacle. And then the other guy's going to have a tentacle and a magic carb, so a little bit of training here. Not too much in terms of experience wise. We're going to get probably one level out of all this. Uh, this guy here, he's also going to register me in the match call after we're done, but oh, he's got two magic carbs, right? Uh, they aren't going to give me much experience because they're magic carbs, but, you know, that's why I said we'd get about one level out of it. Level 7 tentacle, that's even crappier than I thought. And then one more magic carp, I might not even get a whole level. Yeah, I'm not going to get a whole level out of this, that's kind of upsetting. Okay, well, yep, there goes registering me, Mr. Elliot, and then we are going to head into here. <sighs> Alright. So this guy gives me HM5. I'm actually not going to use it because I, I, I memorized the layout of this place. It's not too terrible. Um, but uh, here we go. What is going to be the first Pokemon I encounter? Ooh, that's an escape rope. Alright, what did we get? A Tangela. I'm not even too excited about that. Um, I will try to catch it. I 
either won't or will just get tired of trying because it's kind of useless, but... Oh, well, crap, I'm asleep. This thing doesn't want to fight very much, does it? Okay. The good news is it is paralyzed. Let's give it a shot here. If we catch it, we catch it. If we don't, it's okay. All right, well, there we go. I shouldn't be so doubtful. All right, I got to nickname it. I'm not even going to use it, to be honest. I might... It'll be a while before I use that guy. Anyways, I'm going to come up with a nickname really quick. I decided to go with Curls because Tangela could arguably have curly hair. Don't stifle my creativity. Alright, let's run through this tunnel. So in order to tell you how I know this, the tunnel literally just kind of guides you through it. But uh, hey, Knocked Owl. That's good training material. Kabam, it's dead. Uh, the, gun kinda gui the tunnel kind of guides you but you basically just have to go all the way to the right and hug walls till you get to this one, and then do it all the way back. You'll find a ladder, you'll go up the ladder, and then work your way right back around. Ooh, higgly buff. Whenever I use pound on um, Clefairy, I always imagine it saying puff, like in Super Smash Brothers, when it does the puff smash or whatever. I forget the actual name of it. Like it's side B or something. Hey, Caterpie! If I want to get a... Why am I using Quick Attack? It's not Grass-type, I'm stupid. If I wanted to have a Butterfree. Um, I just have to go up these stairs, run around... Hey, Numel. I'm never going to finish this statement. He's Fire Ground, so I'm not going to be able to touch him. But this, there's an item on this, it's an Everstone. And then we run all the way over into this, run backwards, and hey look, we already made it. It is that simple if you're ever wanting to do that without Flash, and there's Steven. And you get a Steel Wing, which is completely useless against the Gym Leader because they're Fighting type and Steel is not strong against Fighting. Uh, it's more for flavor because he loves Steel Wing. Anyways, I'm going to use this Escape Rope, hop out of here, and go do some training really quick. Um, I'm super confident I'm actually going to be able to take on Brawly and kind of wreck his stuff, but I don't want to jump in too unprepared, to be honest. I'll probably just go back in here and train instead of trying to fish for stuff. I mean, I'd love to catch another Blissey and just go wreck it for 200 experience. Oh my god, that's an Aggron. Uh, flavorfully, that's actually kind of funny, because you can find Aeron in this cave in the regular game, so uh, they just decided to make him an adult instead. Hey, Growlithe. That is not our first encounter with a Growlithe. He was in Route 101. What else do we got? Ooh, Swallet. Good old poison Pokemon. I'm running out of Thunder Punches, so I uh, hope I can get to level 17 before I run out. If not, I can always switch over to something like a... Uh, I'm not going to fight you. I'll switch over to Ball Toy and level him up. The thing I'm very terrified of with Ball Toy is the fact that if he gets hit by one single um, fighting move, he's probably going to get hit really hard, because he is Rock-type. Actually, you know, now that I think about it, I don't think that he's Rock-type. He might be ground, and I'm just worrying over nothing. Ground Psychic, yeah. So, it actually wouldn't be very effective against him because he is a Psychic type. I should be fine. Nothing to worry about. Uh, let's get some Reassurance levels before I jump in there, all half-cocked and expecting to destroy Brawly in one hit. Um, I've also memorized the layout of Brawly's gym. <laughs> uh, like I said, I've played the first half of this game pretty often. Uh, usually when I go into these randomizers, I don't get very far into them because I just want to see what Pokemon I'll get. Ooh, a Smoochum! Wonder if, can you imagine if that was the first thing I ran into? I would have got a Jinx out of that. That would have been really funny. Light screen, yay! That's not very useful. Uh, let's see, I'm going to level up Susan now. She's going to take forever, so I might end up fast-forwarding here in a little bit. But, yeah. the uh, I already forgot what I was saying. I'm going to go ahead and just fast-forward. Hey, look, a Pineco! That's new. Oh, you yeah, it knows Protect. That's kind of annoying. Alright guys, we are back from the fast-forwarding break, and I think I'm going to jump in here <clears throat> and take him on. I It's a scary thought, but I think I can do it, so I'm going to show you really quick. I know exactly where I need to go here to fight against our good friend, Mr. Brawly. Um, nope. Nope. Uh, yeah, I might be lying. Oh yeah, there it is. Shoot. I'm lying. I don't actually remember how to do it, so we're going to go ahead and fight whoever this is. Um, I remember it's kind of up to the left, so I've only done it a few times. Cool. 
He has, no, he doesn't have Medicham, he has Makuhita, that's what it was. Makuhita's heavy hitter, but he is literally right there. I'm going to take out every trainer in this place so I can uh, level as much as possible for taking him on. Because that seems to be the right idea in my mind. Uh, ooh, detect. Yeah, Metadites even die straight to that, so I mean that was a critical hit, but still. The thing I fear most is a level 19 Makuhita. And I think I rightfully so. Yeah, there's a guy. Yeah, the Machops are easy to take care of. The Metadite should be fine. I mean, I can hit it pretty hard. Yeah, Low Kick isn't even going to touch me. I'm feeling pretty confident that I'm going to be able to win this a level below that Makuhita by the time I get to it. Or a level at it. Who knows? Nothing up here. Uh, there's some people over here. Oh, yeah, i got to go down this way. There's a chick down there. Yep. We're gonna fight her real quick. Metadite. He's confused, that's kinda good. Well, oh, bide. Yeah, I should be able to beat him. Don't care. You can bide all you want. I'm beating you faster and you can even unleash it. Ha ha ha. Let me run over here. Double battle. Uh, if you guys remember, I have a little Ella kid. Forgot his name. Zamboni. So this shouldn't be too terrible. They hit pretty hard. Thunder Punch almost killed it. Psybeam did kill him. As expected. Alright, we got a Biter. He's dying before he unleashes it. Doesn't even matter. Easy enough. Let's go heal up, get those PPs restored, and then we are literally going to go destroy Brawly. Because he's not going to be able to stand that Ball Toy. Ball Toy is the true MVP. He has taken down the first two gym leaders, and I could not be happier. If he could learn a ground move that isn't Mud Slap, I'd be super happy for when I have to fight the Electric Gym Leader, but uh, hopefully by that time I found something else useful, or my guys are just too hard to take down. Oh, I didn't go that way. Nope. Nope. There it is. Alright, Brawly. Let's go. Alright, so first we got him a chop at level 16, who's about to eat a Psybeam to the face. Yep, that's what you get. He's confused. Hurt yourself. And the free kill goes to Machop. Alright, Metadite. It's going to be level 16 as well. We are going to hit it with Psybeam. He's using Reflect to raise defense. That's a stupid move on his end. Confuse, give me another free kill. I like it. Alright, we are tied level with Makuhita. He wants to learn self-destruct. That is not going to happen. That is so not happening. Alright, Makuhita. Bring on the pain. He used Bulk Up. Alright, so his attack is going up. His defense is going up. Citrus Berry is not cool. Alright. Vital Throw. Oof. Super Potion. There's the full health. Give me a crit. Give me a crit. It's not a crit. But the good news is I'm faster and I win. Ha! <sighs> uh, don't try that at home, kids. Um, Makuhita is a fat tank. and If you don't have Super Effective, he is hard to kill. You want to be at least 22 or 23 with whatever you're using. If I'm using Dratini... Oh, yeah. Interestingly enough, you can't use Flash until you beat him anyway, so memorizing the layout of that tunnel is pretty simple. Alright, so we have officially defeated Brawly. We have delivered the letter of Steven. We are going to run to Slateport real quick, see if I can find the name Raider or something of use, and then we will call it an episode. And I will call it a night because I've been playing for the past three and a half hours. If you remember, we started this around 12.30. It is now 3.30, so three hours. I'd say that's some good progress. So let's go to Slateport. I do have to. I do really have to uh, pay attention to the people I run by in the very on the beach of Slateport, by the way, because there are a lot of trainers hiding under umbrellas, like the idiots they are. So uh, let's see here, uh, over here, over here. Uh, there we go. Cool, I made it. Running, running, running. I feel like the name raider is somewhere around here. Oh well, the soothe bell is in here. Just gotta talk to this lady. Cool. I'm going to look this up after I get off, but I'm, I'm going to give this Soothe Bell to Alakid and hope to god that it actually... Oops, I didn't mean to get used. Hope that he does something with it. Um, I always thought the name raider was here. Is this it? This is it, isn't it? Yes, it is. Congratulations, guys. You're going to get to see my ball toy before I log off. Alright, ball toy. I'm going to come up with the greatest name ever for you. Boy, I really wasn't kidding, was I? Um, 
so Ball Toy was a cool name and all, and I didn't want to go too far away from his roots because I hated him so much when I caught him, and he's just proven to be the most useful thing ever. I decided Toy Ball instead of Ball Toy was the right way to go. And that is where we will end this episode. Thank you guys so much for joining me on my first couple of episodes here. Uh, I don't know how often these will be uploaded in increments, but I will hope to have episode 60 sometime soon. Enjoy. Thank you.